This is KXAN News. Good morning. If you're waking up this Saturday morning, I'm Chris Sadegui in for Aaron Cargyle along with Rosie Newberry. It's now after Thanksgiving, so it's okay if you put your Christmas tree up, your yeah. Christmas decorations, <laughs> and it's starting to feel like Christmas, too. We are waiting to learn what led up to a deadly head-on crash in southeast Travis County. Tragedy in Colorado as three people, including a police officer, were killed at a Planned Parenthood clinic. In theaters this weekend, a heroic tale of a dog and a less-than-heroic tale of a cursing teddy bear. Can't all be heroes. We haven't hit 100 yet, and it may be possible, could it be possible, that here in Texas we get through the month of July without triple digits? I don't, is that unheard of? Cupcakes, beer, and puppies. Got your attention now, right? You can get all of it at Austin Pets Alive's American Pale Ale series. Police are looking for the person or persons breaking into several homes in a neighborhood in South Austin. No telling how many calories that burger has. Listen, I love fried food as much as anybody, but that just goes a little bit too far. Even the people at the state fair are saying, okay, that's crossing <laughs> the, the line. State the FAA says more pilots are having lasers shown in their eyes during takeoff and landing. You can say it's officially Christmas time in Austin when that Zilker tree is lit up. Thanks for watching KXAN News Today. Stay connected around the clock on KXAN.com. Have a great weekend. A live look out of our Austonian weather camera this morning. Can't see much. Temperatures remain cold and more showers could be in the forecast today. Plus, a fire breaks out at an Austin warehouse. Fire investigators say it may not have been accidental. A peaceful yet bizarre end to a SWAT situation in Austin. We have the details on what led to the standoff and where police ended up finding the person they were after. And Central Texas leaders are getting ready to head to Paris for a critical climate change talk. Why this is the final chance officials have to reach a deal. In-depth. Investigative. This is KXAN News. Good morning and thanks for waking up with us. I'm Chris Sadegui in for Aaron Cargyle, Rosie Newberry here along with me. And it's one of those days you get up, you look out the window and you just kind of shrink back into your bed. It's <laughs> right like you don't want to get up. Yeah, I think that that... Thank you, Rosie. Investigators say a Northeast Austin warehouse fire this morning was intentionally set. Flames broke out at the Austin Countertops facility off East Breaker Lane near I-35 around 5.30. Firefighters put the fire out in about 10 minutes. No one was inside at the time. Investigators are working with Austin police. They say someone may have broken into the building to set the fire. The fire caused about $45,000 worth of damage. We're hoping to get more details today following a strange SWAT situation in East Austin. This happened in the 6600 block of Johnny Morris Cove. Officers got a call yesterday afternoon that someone assaulted a woman outside. EMS treated her at the scene. The police thought another woman was being held against her will inside a home, but officers later found her and a man believed to be the suspect in another part of the city. That woman was not hurt. No word on any, if any arrests were made. The man accused of shooting three people and wounding nine others during a rampage and standoff at a Planned Parenthood clinic in Colorado Springs will be in court tomorrow. Law enforcement sources say Robert Louis Deere made anti-abortion comments during his arrest on Friday. U.S. Attorney General Loretta Lynch is calling the shootings a crime against women. Meanwhile, a community is mourning the loss of three of their own, including a police officer. Leanne Gregg has the latest. Friends and family say Swayze was a junior national champion and multi-time national qualifier for the U.S. The names of the other two people killed are not being released. The National Security Agency is expected to end its sweeping collection of Americans' phone records today. The controversial program started 14 years ago under President George W. Bush. Edward Snowden leaked its existence in 2013. In June, President Obama signed a reform measure taking away the agency's authority to collect the records. Under the new law, the NSA must get a warrant or court order to collect phone information from telecommunication companies. Austin police plan to talk about their new body cameras in a public forum this week. Tomorrow, police will hold a community meeting at the Palmer Event Center to discuss their policy and answer any questions. 
This comes after years of discussion over the need for body cameras. APD believes it will enhance accountability, openness, and transparency. In September, the Austin City Council set aside $2.6 million in the city's budget to cover the expense. That includes buying the cameras for 500 officers and hiring three full-time employees to help manage the videos. And you can get more information on the body cameras and this meeting online at KXAN.com. An Islamic State affiliate in Egypt says it carried out a shooting near a historic site that killed four police officers. The shooting happened yesterday near the 4,600-year-old Step Pyramid outside of Cairo. In a statement, the group said they will continue targeting soldiers of Egypt's president who led the military overthrow of Islamic President Mohamed Morsi in 2013. Pope Francis is leaving Uganda for his last stop on his first trip to Africa. The visit to the Central African Republic is the most challenging part of the trip. It's a country where Christians and Muslims have been fighting each other. Nearly one million people there have been forced from their homes over the past year, creating a divided capital. The pontiff will meet with people on both sides as he delivers a message of peace and reconciliation. It's a diamond so huge, there can't even be a price put on how much it's worth. Check it out. A Canadian mining company found the rock in the southern African nation of Botswana. The diamond is too big for computer analysis. Some experts suspect the 1,100-plus carat wow. gem is worth about $66 million. Jewelers will have to rely on their knowledge and eye to come up with an exact value for the stone and so when you have a rock that big do you break it down into a lot of wedding rings Ooh. or do you keep it like that because tough that's, call yeah I don't lady know. vote i just want the whole thing and i want it on my hand you better start doing some working <laughs> know, out if right. you're gonna hold that on yeah, your hand that's actually gonna be a good bicep <laughs> workout and it's just a, a cool 66 mil your work <laughs> that's coming up love may be in the air we'll tell you the reason why you may see more people in relationships this winter and the switch flips tonight on an Austin holiday tradition, the changes coming to the Zilker tree this year.